So here's the deal. I want to buy your bike. <laughs> You're serious? My motorcycle? Well, I did have my eye on a cherry red walker, but Grandma beat me to it. Have you ever actually been on a bike? You know how hot this is? Okay, 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 okay. Let me rephrase that. When was the last time you rode one? Let's see. Who was president back right, then? I don't think this is a very good idea. No, you can check me out. You know, if I need some pointers, you can give me some pointers. Well, uh, I am sort of under strict orders to get rid of it. Look, it'll have a fine home. You can, you can give me a, a refresher course if you want. Mister, I think you got yourself a bike. Of course, the refresher course will, will have power slides in it, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, you got a deal. <laughs> How many miles is that one? Oh, wait a minute. This is a scary sight. Which one of you bought the Brooklyn Bridge? Actually, <laughs> Sam just sold me his bike, so I think congratulations are in order. I think a head doctor's in order. Aren't you scared of that thing? No, he'll get me up to speed, and you'll get visitation rights. No, no, he won't. <sighs> nice try. Enjoy your bike. Oh, well, I intend to. I'm fucking mangled up. I might as well have fun doing it. You know, I really shouldn't get rid of it until I've given you a ride. You know, the $7,000 ride through the gymnasium, that was plenty for me. Thanks. Ouch. Care to join me? I didn't feel like having breakfast alone at the apartment this morning. Well, it's good to know you're not inviting half of Springfield over while I'm gone. Mm, gone you were. Gone, 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 gone. So, is the coffee that good, or do you have something you'd like to tell me? What? what? Uh, uh. No, he didn't. <laughs> I beg to differ, he did. Does he know he is the luckiest guy in the whole world? Oh, Sam, no jokes. No jokes, I mean it. Thanks, thank you. Wow, a New Year's? Yeah. That, but that's right around the corner. I know, it certainly is. But that hardly gives me enough time to rent a tux. Well, there's no reason for Josh and I to wait, Sam. Well, I, I never said there was. Well, no, Olivia. not directly. Would it be that bad to wait a little? I mean, Why? Why should we wait? This is something we both want. You know, a nice, simple wedding. Sooner, the better. Simple, as in I don't need to rent a tux? Well, you do if you're going to walk me down the aisle. <sighs> I hope this is everything you want and more. You've earned some happiness. I I wish you all the happiness in the world. Sam Spencer, who'd have thunk it? You're softy. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, the bike was just really a front for me. <laughs> Too bad the bike is history. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of history and education and such, I'm following. Mara, my future niece to be by marriage, has invited me to go along with her and Susan on a little college fact finding mission in Chicago. Mara invited you. Yeah, it gives a little chance to bond, don't you think? Wow, the two of you are getting along? Hey, who can resist the Spencer charm? Wow, and college? Hey, looms as a distinct possibility. Wow, this day is just getting better and better and better. <laughs> Olivia, how nice to see you. You Hi. too. I want you to meet my brother Sam. Oh, hello. How, how do you so do? Much about you. Yeah, you know, I'm a big fan of yours. Oh. Yeah, I followed your editorial on the Spalding Spire project. Oh, you have? Yes. And if I may, I think you're an excellent writer. You may. Thank you. I'm always entertained by how you can reinterpret facts to fit into your editorial. It's a real gift. Oh. Congratulations Thanks. again. Thanks, sweetie. Ladies? Did he just... Yeah, you know, he's smooth as silk. Oh. I adore him, but I have to stay on my toes around him. I can see why. So should I be congratulating you as well? Sure, if you'd like. You're not going to tell me, so I should ask why. <laughs> I'm getting married. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm <clears throat> even going to pretend you mean that. I do, really, believe me. It's just that, um, well, it seems a little uh, soon. The ink is barely dry on the divorce papers. <sighs> Look, when you're right, you're right. And that's exactly what I told Josh. I, I don't mean to. It's not about no, business. No, no, I want to discuss this with somebody. And even though I love my kid brother, he's not really the right person. Besides, it's really hard to find someone in Springfield who isn't a part of the Josh Riva Forever fan club. You think I'm not? Oh, you probably are. Well, at least you said congratulations. Yes. Look, it is an awful time, okay? Which is why I tried to dissuade him. You did? Yes, I did. Holly, I, I've been in love with Josh 
for a long time knowing that he doesn't feel the same way about me. How did you manage that? I don't know. I guess I was always trying to stay hopeful, but, but realistic, you know, knowing he may never tell me that he loved me. Has he? Yes. Oh. Yes, and when he did, I knew that somewhere in his mind there must be Reva. I mean, she'd just gotten back. The divorce was just final, and I tried to talk him out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, I couldn't believe the words were actually coming out of my mouth, but Holly, he wouldn't budge. And then he proposed? Yes. Yes, go figure. Look. Does he love me the same way that I love him? Probably not, but he, he will someday. And when he does, we will be good and married. Are you okay with that? The man that I love just proposed marriage to me. I am so okay with that. Reva is never going to disappear. You know that. She'll always be there. But less and less so. Trust me. Well, it's not the most conventional engagement no, ever. No, it's not. But I've never put much stock in convention anyway, and you look so happy. I am. <laughs> then I wish you both the best. And besides, I know Josh. He would never propose unless he felt he would make it work. Right, exactly. Besides, I'm good for him. He's good for me, and that's a really strong foundation to build on. Yes, yes, it is. Thank you very much. Besides, if I don't do this, I will regret it the rest of my life. I've got to go. Thank you so much for listening to yes. me. Anytime. This Hello. is for you. Thank you. Can you change? Uh, no, thanks. Um, enjoy your bike. He's buying Sam's bike. One less thing I have to worry about. Bye. Bye.